What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we're going to go over the Battle Fair Challenge. And what this is, is using all four of your primary weapons as things you can get out of the Battle Fair. This first game we will have hand cam video, and I will do a whole thing showing you how to use three finger and four finger claw. What I'm using now is actually a three and four finger hybrid, which is easier on your hands. And uh, we'll get into it. So, first thing that we're going to be using a lot of is going to be the Stingray. I love this gun. You can use it to be able to kill multiple people. And we are going to go out with the Matador, just messing with people mostly. But we're going out, just doing our thing. And we will be using all these weapons a lot. And in a next video, I will have all of these weapons expanded and not just used together. But used in the best loadouts that I have found to use them with. And we get like 22 plus kills with an avalanche. Yes guys, you heard that right. It is unbelievable. And 22 kills on Saloon. So it's definitely good and going to be worth a watch. But I figured I'd go ahead and get this out now to show you. Hey, all these guns are usable and pretty fun. But more than anything, I was surprised by the chopper and avalanche in particular on how good they were. I knew just about how good the Stingray was, and if your other team is standing next to each other, it can really do some work. But I was very surprised on how good the Chopper and Avalanche are up close, and really the Chopper in medium range is also still good. It kills single targets very, very quickly, and if everybody gets close together, you can shoot through targets and do just an insane amount of damage fast. And I was really surprised to see how good the Avalanche was. I think when they rebalanced all of the shotguns, it really helped the Avalanche just be usable again. It's not the best shotgun. I wouldn't go for it over something like a Joker or a Porcupine. But if you don't already have a shotgun, it can compete and do pretty well. Um, I like it because just like Odin back in the day, it was one of the best guns in the game. And it's just fun to have that nostalgic feel. Especially now that it can actually work. And it's not just an auto death sentence for using it. But uh, again, I'll go over more things like the Avalanche tomorrow on what the best loadout to use with it is. And we'll go over everything and just show you what's best for all four of these weapons. And a cool thing about the Stingray is it's basically similar to a Rochi, except you rush with it instead of camp like a terrible human being. And um, so instead of ruining the game for yourself and everyone else, you actually make the game fun for yourself. And uh, I mean, it's not fun to die to anything, but like at least you're not having to slow the pace down and make everyone camp. So if you like a Rochi, this might be a good option for you to not be a terrible person. Now, I I'm just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> nah, it's all good. But, again, this one is really good when there's multiple people around. It can give you multi-kills, and it's also good in the one-on-one. -on -one, but, by far, the best thing about it is it can be used more in an aggressive manner. Unlike Orochi, where, again, you do have to camp with that gun. Which makes the other snipers have to camp, and it just ruins the game for everyone involved. And this gun doesn't necessarily do that. So, it just ends up being a lot more fun to use, and I think it is the better way of having a gun similar to the Orochi playstyle. But another thing with this gun is it's not always just about getting the kills, but getting people low enough for your teammates and get the kills, and just doing your part to win the game. So I do like it a lot, and I wouldn't recommend using the Matador as the backup weapon. It's just the video after this needed a Matador kill, so I went ahead and did that. But um, if you do have the chopper, I had so much success with that weapon making these videos it is absolutely insane and again in the video tomorrow or the next day whenever i release it uh it will show you that uh, it's mostly done but it is like 16 minutes long it is a very big expansive thing to let everyone know what you might want in the battle fair but it does work out quite a bit right here we do end up getting them and we just keep on going because again this is a really good weapon you can do your little hit and runs you can wait for people and it just is a really good all-around weapon and uh i do like it a lot it's not just for killing multiple people together you can be using it in a more skillful way similar to like i guess you would a quicksilver um but i just wanted to go ahead and show that it's not just about camping with it and that's when it's annoying 
annoying is when you're doing it that way. But you can use it in a much more aggressive way that's more fun for you and the other people involved. So definitely, I suggest you use it more aggressive if you're going to use it. It's just better. It'll give you more points. It's more fun. And it's just all around better. But again, as I was uh, saying with the chopper, you can do so much with this thing. And Avalanche is pretty good too. And it's just really refreshing to be able to use a bunch of guns that you don't really think are going to be good. And it ends up that they work really well. I mean, I did not expect to be able to use all my main weapons from a battle fair and actually have it go pretty well. Right there, we do kill up everyone on their team. And we finally get them all out of our base so we can actually have a chance at winning this thing. And we're just going to go off. We do end up getting the guy with our lightning and he ends up killing his teammate. Because they just decided to stand together. I assume that's going to be less likely once everyone gets this gun. Um, uh, it was really hard to actually get this gun when it first came out. So a lot of people don't have it. And so no one really has practice dealing with it. So I think as more people get it, it's going to be harder to use in this way. Um, but it's really hard to tell because there's never been anything similar to it. Another thing you can do is these quick scopes, but they are very inaccurate, and you just got to get lucky and hope that they end up working out. Um, eventually, I just run in and decide, you know what, chopper is the better way to go. With chopper, it is hard to tell what's better sometimes, scoping or not scoping, because it is actually very accurate in pretty much both ways. Um, I don't know. It's really going to be up to personal choice more than anything. Right there, we do end up hitting a lot of guys with that damage. And we go up, go ahead, get that triple kill. And if I wasn't going for stupid Matador kills, I would have easily gotten the fort once right there. Um, I don't suggest you use the Matador as a backup, like I said. I just needed Matador clips for my next video. <laughs> But it's all good because we are going to be able to use this like an instant shot sniper and we do end up getting a lot of kills off of it because when you hit people it gives them 800 shock damage to people near them and if it hits three times it'll also damage the person who is shocking their friends and i think if they kill the teammate next to them it kills them too or i don't know if it just happens to work that way by luck where like people are already low and so just ends up working out that way I'm, I'm not 100 sure how that works to be honest but either way it is really fun especially because you can get triple kills with one shot like that's got to be my favorite and i have many many of those clips to show you guys i'll probably make a tutorial on how to use the stingray again now that i know more things than i did the last time i made a video similar to that let me know if you guys would like a tutorial on any of these weapons i can make them uh, except for matador i mean there's just not really enough to say about it that like uh, it would be a good thing but either way it doesn't matter because we're gonna keep on going and just doing our thing and we use this to be able to keep this hill safe and keep this game in our team's hands the biggest thing right here is to not die and just let people chase us that way our teammates can just do their thing we go ahead charge it up have it where their head's gonna be so if they come across they auto die giving us the victory and i would like to thank all these people for supporting me and uh sorry about this video uh taking a little longer than normal um i just got back home i had some personal stuff in my personal life to deal with but all that is good now and uh so i'll be able to start making videos regularly again all right guys i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it's helped i'll come out with a full video going over these four weapons and the best loadouts to use with them and i'll go ahead and rank all the battlefare stuff with that all right guys i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you have a great day